Hi everyone, today in this video I am going to discuss about ASDA which is a technique that is used in question document examination. So the full form is electrostatic detection apparatus ESDA. So basically it is a forensic device that is used to uh, detect indentations written indentations or impressions written on a paper. Uh, indentations are the mass, marks we can say that comes on to the next page when we write for example if we write in a notebook and if we turn on the page then we are going to see little marks on the next sheet of paper so those are called indentations or impressions that are made due to the pressure that we apply on the paper while we are writing so this technique basically helps us detect those marks those indentations it is a non-destructible technique that is it is not going to destroy the paper or the evidence that we have got secondly um, it has the ability to detect the indentations that were made several years ago as well and also on several pages like uh, you know uh, the first page on which we have written then we turn over the second page third page quite a few pages can be indentations can be covered through this now this technology uh, makes use of uh, the technology of copying machine and laser printer so two technologies are merged first is of copying machine second is of laser printer so now i'm going to discuss about the principle behind this technique so the principle is that uh, this technique is basically based on the theory that if a paper <clears throat> that is evidence if it is grounded between two things like uh, first is a platen grounded platen or we can say normal plate and a film imaging film then it acts as a capacitor that sandwich acts as a capacitor and um, due to the difference of the compression of the paper because on the paper we are going to have certain depressions and certain uh, normal sheet like okay uh, we'll be having depressions though dip those depression will be the impressions made due to the writing and because of that this is the sandwich is going to act as a capacitor due to which we'll be, we'll be having a change in the electrostatic um, nature and uh, we'll be able to detect indentation marks so now i will discuss about different steps first step is going to be document humidification in this step we are going to humidify our document now this step can be optional in case it basically depends upon the relative humidity of the environment if the relative humidity is less than 60 percent then we uh, opt for uh, document humidification if it is more than 60 percent then we do not humidify the document the second step is we place the document over a porous electrically earthen plate so once it is placed over an earthen plate uh, we will um, uh, switch on the vacuum and a vacuum will be created which will draw the sheet downwards okay then the third step is going to be that we need to place a thin layer of plastic sheet or which we in this case is uh, known as mylar sheet which is also known as the imaging film it is placed over the document so we uh, we had an earthen plate on which we placed our sample and after on the sample we are placing that imaging plate also known as imaging sheet is placed over specimen now this thing has two purposes first is that on this mylar sheet we are going to see the indentations at the end what basically was written and also it helps developing the electrostat electrostatic uh, charge after that the fourth step is that we will take a handheld corona wand what this corona wand is do it uh, produces corona charges now uh, these are electrical charges that are brought on by the ionization of a fluid so we take a high corona uh, wire which is used for the electrostatic charge production in this process now it would create uh, a charge on the imaging film and we will allow it to uh, rest for some time fifth step would be wait 
wait for some time now after waiting for some time what we are going to see is that an electrostatic image is formed over the imaging film it is formed due to uh, and the image that is formed is basically uh, the replica of the surface irregularity of the specimen document that we have so what we will see is an electrostatic image is formed okay then what we will do is this image is developed now and it has to be made visible by the naked eyes because till now it is just an electrostatic image so for that we will be taking a black toner powder this is made visible by black toner powder which is negatively charged then what we get is an image now this image is exactly the image of the thing that was written by the suspect and exactly the replica of the indentations that were made on the next page so a life size pattern of the toner basically can be seen bounded on those region where the electrostatic image was formed on the imaging film now this esda image that is formed is now made permanent uh, by uh, either by laminating or we can also photograph take a photograph and it is uh, permanently kept with us now there are two factors that affect the esda first is the document humidification and second is the type of paper that we use now let's know about the application of this technique so it has its application in question document for example in traced forgery if someone has forged a particular signature he she would have used a notebook below uh, the paper uh, on which he is going to he she is going to forge so we can go for go and have a look at the notebooks of the suspect and find out if there is any such notebook on which certain kind of indentation can be same in the case of if we get a ransom note then culprit's note a uh, notepad or the source of the notebook on which uh, this ransom note is written can be uh, looked for anonymous letter if we have got same is in the case of check forgery so these are all the applications of this technique basically this step uh, just to wrap up this technique uh, is used to detect the indentations that are made on the papers due to the pressure of our hand while we write and these indentations can can act as an evidence in the court of law if we if find it on uh, any suspects notebook or uh, copy or any kind of uh, paper then we can use that as an evidence so uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up and share it with your friends thank you